and thoroughly clean. This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. I asked Inspector Lestrade to take Montague Dunn's body to Scotland Yard. It's ready for autopsy then. This watch is of great value. A beautiful feather pen of a good make. a membership card for the London Crest Club. First of all, let us carry out an external examination. No redness, stings or bruises. There are no suspicious marks upon the chest. Let us finish our external examination so that we can proceed with the autopsy. Nothing suspicious here. There is an injury to the skull, most probably caused by the fall in the water lily greenhouse. The vessels and the pupil of the eye appear quite normal. The air from the lungs carries a faint floral aroma. Hmm. Now, let us examine the internal organs. The liver is enlarged. It would seem that he was suffering from an alcohol addiction. The liver tissue is brown. There are no visible pathological signs. The lungs are congested and edematous. The tissue on the inferior lobe of the right lung is damaged, most probably caused by toxins from an unknown plant. The heart's blood vessels show no pathological signs. The heart tissue shows no visible pathological signs.
the stomach tissues show no visible pathological signs. There is a small amount of content. It appears that he breakfasted lightly, only a short while before his death. My suspicions have been substantiated. Montague Dunn, the director of Kew Gardens, died from poisoning, plant poisoning to be more exact. You mean... Yes, it is murder. We should inform Lestrade. Yes, but do remember, Watson, that I discovered the murder. The challenge is mine. The challenge, Holmes? We need to locate that deadly plant. Such a perfect murder appeals to me. Murder of any kind appeals to you. Is that all we need to do? No. We also have the people working at Kew Gardens. Martin Hamish and the son of the victim, Albert Dunn. And also Miss White, of whom we spoke with Mr. Hamish. Should we bring them all here for interrogation? No. A few innocuous questions at Kew will suffice, as well as a discreet delve into their personal affairs. Yes, Watson. It is time now to open the doors. Even those in the staff building? I suppose that is necessary. We should also be concerned with the victim himself. After all, we don't know very much about Montague Dunn. You're enjoying this already, aren't you? <laughs> More than a little. Mr. Hamish, can you explain to us what happened to the Colonial Collection? It seems somewhat depleted. But, uh, oh, most likely maintenance work, tidying up. You're not sure, then? But you're the Deputy Director. Well, I am busy. I cannot be everywhere at once. Albert told us about the tragic death of Mr. Dunn the late director of Kew Gardens. Tragic indeed. His heart attack was quite unexpected. As deputy director, how was your relationship with Montague Dunn? To be honest with you, Mr. Holmes, it could have been better. You see, every Tuesday he would carry out his inspection of the gardens, but it was solely to make an impression, great pretense that he cared at all. He would give out absurd orders, ignoring anyone else's opinion. He would then disappear for the rest of the week. 
He was what some might call a man of action. I'd say rather he was overzealous and chaotic. So after all, it was no wonder, perhaps, that he ended up like that, if you take into consideration his kind of lifestyle. You mentioned that Mr. Dunn led a particular lifestyle. Well, it's no secret that he enjoyed uh, celebrating, shall we say? He was a member of the London Smart Set. He was famous for it. That and... And? He had an eye for the ladies, to put it mildly, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Hamish, can you tell us who holds the keys to the locked greenhouses? That would be Albert, Mr. Dunn's son. Yes, Albert keeps all the keys, and one can only imagine why. What do you mean? Well, he was never interested in Kew Gardens before. And now, all of a sudden, he is trying to act as if he owns the place. I think he wants to take over the management here. <laughs> He'd do better to leave that to me. He has no experience. No, none at all. You tell me, Mr. Hamish, do you grow the more deadly variety of plant here? You mean insectivorous? Yes, but nothing larger than that. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Locked. Ventilation system. Ventilation system. A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. A ventilation... A water tank. The symbol is 